Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to Lesson 30 of Chef's Apprentice Learning to Cook Like a Pro One Small Plate at a Time. This lesson is the Lobster Potini. This is a creative way to feature two much-loved dishes, mashed potatoes and lobster, which pair well. This technique for making mashed potatoes without the vodka reduction can be used to make mashers for any purpose. Spiking the potatoes with vodka, which is made from potatoes, and presenting them in a martini glass with a lemon slice and an olive is a clever and visually striking twist, no pun intended, on the martini. Adding lobster and peas makes it downright decadent. Techniques today are peeling potatoes, chopping, bringing to a boil, simmering, cooking potatoes, sweating, deglazing, reducing, steaming, keeping warm, blanching, shocking, seasoning potatoes, ricing potatoes, making mashers, plating, garnishing, and finishing. So let's start cooking. All right, let's talk about the mise en place for lesson 30, the lobster potini. Now first, of course, we're going to need some potatoes. Now I've already peeled the potatoes and I'm I have them in the water in which we're going to boil them. We're going to start with cold water, and since I peeled them a little while ago, I put them in water so that they wouldn't brown. I have three mm, medium to large Yukon Gold potatoes. We'll also need to have one cup of warm milk. Now, I've already put it in the saucepan. It's not warm yet, but we're going to warm it a little bit later. So one cup of milk. We'll need about, now according to the description, we'll need about eight ounces of uh, lobster. Now, I'm only making four, so I have about four ounces today. And uh, I've cut it into chunks that are about, oh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And this is uh, claw meat and also uh, tail meat. We'll also need to have some uh, truffle butter. It can be black truffle butter or white truffle butter. This is white truffle butter brought to room temperature. And boy, does it smell great. Uh, we'll also need about one tablespoon of peas per person. These were frozen peas that I've thawed. Again, about one tablespoon per person, roughly. We'll need about uh, also one tablespoon of um, shallots that have been uh, finely chopped. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong amount. A quarter of a cup, about a quarter of a cup of shallots that have been finely chopped. We'll also need to have uh, some olive oil one half a cup of vodka, any type of vodka will do. Kosher salt as always, pepper mill as always for fresh ground pepper. We'll also need to have some ground white pepper. We use that when we don't want to change the color of what it is that we're seasoning. We'll also need to have some uh, half moons of lemon, about a quarter of an inch thick, that are also notched in the middle so we can put them on the edge of the martini glass for garnishing the glass. Also some green olives that have been skewered. Now I put these on some bamboo toothpicks. Uh, you could use any kind of a cocktail toothpick, but four green olives. And finally, some red or pink peppercorns. Uh, these are in a grinder, which makes it great, uh, easy for us to use them later on. Okay, that's all of the uh, uh, ingredients that we'll need. We'll break now and come back, and I'll show you the equipment that you need for lesson 30. Okay, let's talk about the equipment that we'll need for lesson 30. We'll need to have a cutting board and a chef's knife. We need to have a peeler to peel the potatoes. I'm using an OXO peeler. I think they're really the best. Uh, we'll also need to have a saucepan to heat the milk. I already have the milk in there. We need to have uh, toothpicks to skewer the olives. I already showed you these earlier. These are bamboo toothpicks. You can use any cocktail toothpick. We need to have a pot to boil the potatoes. And that already has cold water in it. Always use cold water to boil potatoes. Saute pan to sweat the shallots and a wooden spoon. You need to have a sizzle plate. You need to have a bowl for an ice bath. No ice in there right now, but there will be later, and a slotted spoon to get the peas out after they've been blanched and shocked in the ice bath. We'll also need to have a mixing bowl, and then we'll need to have a ricer. Now, there's a lot of ways to mash potatoes. Some people use mashers, uh, some people use food mills. I use a ricer. I don't think there is any better way to get smooth mashed potatoes. So this is a ricer. Okay. Uh, we'll also need to have a bowl to put the uh, potatoes in after they've been riced. And I'm just going to put them right in the mixing bowl because that's where they're going to go. They're going to get mixed up on the mixer. Uh, we'll need to have a steamer to steam the lobster. We're going to do that in the same pot that we're doing the potatoes. Steamer goes right on top and then the lid goes on top of the steamer. 
And then uh, we'll also need to have a mixer. Now I have a mixer uh, behind me here. You can use any mixer uh, fitted with a paddle. All right? This is a rubber edge paddle which gets down the sides of the bowl very, very uh, clearly, gets all the, uh, uh, mixes all the ingredients that are in the bowl. And then finally, we'll need to have some martini glasses. I'm doing four of these lobster potinis, uh, so I have four martini glasses handy. Okay, that's all the equipment we'll need. We'll break now and we'll come back and we'll start cooking. The next thing on the prep list is to bring the potatoes to a boil, starting with cold, salty water. As you know, the water should taste like the ocean. Okay, use that much salt. The reason we start with cold water is because the potatoes absorb less water if you start with cold potatoes and cold water. So we're going to um, bring this to a boil and let them cook until the potatoes are done. We'll talk more about what done means when we get there. Now we're going to sweat the shallots. We just need a little olive oil in the pan. Add the shallots, stir them around, get them coated with the olive oil and cook them on medium heat until they are sweated, which is translucent. Now we're going to deglaze the pan with the vodka, but we're going to add this vodka off the heat away from the fire. And we can put it back on the heat and let it reduce, or we can burn off some of the uh, alcohol quickly. Probably don't want to do that until you have built up your experience. That will build, burn off the alcohol. Uh, otherwise, if you don't flame it, you can just let it cook, let it come to a boil, let it reduce. We want to reduce the uh, liquid by about half. Okay, that's reduced by about half. We want to keep this warm. Now let's blanch the peas. Now we're going to use the same water that we're cooking the potatoes in to be efficient. We're going to put the peas into a strainer. We're going to just drop the strainer down into the water and we're going to blanch them for about 30 seconds or so, then plunge them into an ice bath. Okay, let's shock them in the ice bath. Just We can just drop them right down into that ice water. Okay, let's warm up the peas. Put them on a sizzle plate, lightly season, and keep them warm until we are ready to mix them up. Now let's check the potatoes. They've been uh, boiling for about 10 minutes. Uh, the way we're checking them is to take a toothpick and press it inside. and. If, if it still feels raw, too much resistance, they are not done. What we're going for is to push that toothpick in and just feel just a little bit of resistance. We do not want them to be soft. We don't want them to be mushy. We want them, want them to be al dente, which means just slightly undercooked, uh, where you get a little bit of resistance when you push in that toothpick. All right, now we're going to steam the lobster while the potatoes are still cooking. It's really only going to take about five minutes, okay? So we're going to put the um, lobster into the steamer and cover it. Now, normally we wouldn't cover the potatoes while they're cooking. Most of the time they're going to be uncovered, uh, but we're just going to cover them for a short time while we steam the lobster at the same time. Now we're going to warm the milk. We're going to get it warm and then just keep it in a warm place till we need it. Okay, our timer just went off. We finished. Uh, steaming the lobster. We're going to remove it into the mixing bowl. We're going to add the peas. And now let's toss the lobster, the truffle butter, and the peas with some seasoning. Now just a light seasoning because we have already seasoned those peas. Right, now let's keep this warm until we're ready to plate. All right, so I just checked the potatoes and they're just right. The, uh, they give a little bit of resistance to the toothpick. So now it is time to rice the potatoes. Now these are hot, hot potatoes. You've heard about those. We're going to do one at a time. Drop them into the ricer and then press the 
potatoes through the ricer into the mixing bowl. And there we have it, beautifully riced potatoes. They will not be lumpy at all. Next we want to strain the vodka reduction into the potatoes. Now, we don't want any of the shallots because they would make it lumpy, right? We just want to get the liquid out of the pan, strain it into the potatoes. Now it's time to beat the potatoes. I've put the, the um, bowl onto the mixer and we have the paddle on. We're adding some salt and a little bit of white pepper. Remember, this goes a long way. We don't want to use too much of it because it will be too peppery. Right now, we're going to add the warm milk. We'll start with a little bit and start to mix. Now you know how mashed potatoes are supposed to be. You want to add enough milk so that you get a nice, smooth, fluffy mixture without them being too stiff, without them being too soupy. It looks perfect. Let's taste them. Perfect seasoning. Okay. Okay, it's time to plate up. First we're going to put a scoop of mashed potatoes into the martini glass. Then we're going to garnish with lobster and peas. Add a slice of lemon to the rim. Add an olive and toothpick. Cracked pink peppercorns. And there we have it, lesson 30, the lobster potini. You can see final photos of the dish on my Instagram, which is Chef's Apprentice, cook like a pro. Next up is seared scallops and shishito peppers. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.